Ah, welcome back to the rambling slaves, everyone. What the fuck? Fucking Steven making me do his, like, dinner dash for him. I asked you to get me a drink. I asked if Steven wanted to meet at McDonald's before recording today, and Steve was like, no. That's literally all he sent me, just the word no. And then I said, all right, I'm in the drive-thru. I'll be there in 15 minutes. Like, could you give me a Coke with no ice? <laughs> like a piece of shit. <laughs> I wanted to take a shower before you got here. Well, maybe you should have also gotten McDonald's before you got here then. Okay. Which is why I didn't get you that Coke with no ice. You did get it. I did get him the Coke with no ice. I'm not a monster, all right? So, do you want to harp on me for like five more minutes or what? I mean, five minutes is a long time, Steve. I don't know how long how, how long we're going to get this bit to stretch out for. Okay. Well, Steven told me beforehand to do this bit, by the way. No, I did not. He absolutely did. Okay, maybe I did. Check the tapes. You'll see it. We don't have tapes. <laughs> yes, we do. We have tapes right now. <laughs> this isn't a tape. This is just a recording. <laughs> I, I mean, I the, the really... saying, check the tapes, has evolved over the years now that we don't use tapes anymore. Check the Blu-ray. <laughs> Dude, when are we going to get Rambling Gamers out on Blu-ray? <laughs> what are you talking about? I already did. Fuck. You didn't run this by me at all. I didn't sell it for anyone's collector's edition. I'm the only one that owns it. You have a singular, one-of-a-kind Ramblin' Gamer Season 1 Blu-ray. Not Season 1. Half of Season 1. What happened to the other half of Season 1? I'm working on it. It got deleted. <laughs> <laughs> did, we accident did we accidentally um, lose all of our subscribers out of nowhere? Uh, probably. And half of our videos? <laughs> I mean, I did delete, like, half of our older videos. Uh, off of your hard drive, right? Oh. On the external hard drive. Right, yeah. I, I can't have all these Rambling Gamers episodes on my fucking... That's right, the episodes are just gone forever. Except, you know, on YouTube, where they are. Yeah. <laughs> if they actually get rid of them, I'm like, okay, well, whatever. They might be somewhere else. Yeah, words can't describe how much I will be... How saddened I will be if our Rambling Gamer stuff gets deleted forever. Because I wouldn't care that much and I wouldn't talk that much about it. What about our Dangan series? What about our Dangan series? <laughs> Okay, man, I guess, you know, I love that series. <laughs> I'm sure you do. Fuck, this room sucks. I thought you loved it, too. It was alright. It was pretty good. Okay, well. I, I, I enjoyed the game. I enjoyed my time. It was fun. Alright. So, Pat, how's your week been? My week is mostly... <laughs> alright. Sorry. Jesus Christ, Steven. My week mostly hits a uh, a peak today, actually. The reading? <laughs> try, that, try that one again, Steve? The reading? The reading, exactly, yes, uh... I did, a, I did a live script reading with our buddy Sean at twitch.tv slash helpless underscore skippy. The VOD's probably already been uploaded at this point. Oh, at, yeah. at least I'd hope so. Uh, but yeah, we did a live script reading of uh, Over the Hedge this time. And uh, the time before, we did uh, Shark Tale. Very, we do very weird stuff over at twitch.tv slash helpless underscore skippy. And I, I am taking so much stupid damage. Steven, stop having me get hit. No. And that was, that was the latest in the long line of antics. <laughs> Yeah, oh yeah. So that was, I think, the biggest thing to talk about coming out of my week. Uh, how about you, Steve? You, uh, you do anything good? I guess I got work stories. Oh, no. <laughs> the cl the classics. Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't know how to bring it up exactly. So, um, as you know, from a pizza place, I got I got hired at a place, and I got immediately shipped. Right, you got hired at one pizza place, and then they put you to a different pizza place. Yeah. So, um, this week, they, they call, well... The regional manicure was at our place for some reason. I don't really know why, <laughs> but it was there for several hours. Surprise inspection? No, I, I, it wasn't an inspection or something because he just was there talking to us mainly. Is <laughs> he just lonely? <laughs> He's like, hey guys, I think so. hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not, not I'm sure. I don't talk to him. I'm not used to him, so I don't talk to him much. Okay. And I, and I don't really want to promote you or anything like that, so I don't really see the benefit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so. I was getting off for, like, a three-hour break because I do split shifts now. And, right. And that's, like, all they want me to do now. So, I was told, like, yeah, the other one could really use your help. Like, they've been busy all day, and they've had a lot of deliveries. Did you get to work at the magical one you wanted to work at this whole time? Yeah, I got to. <gasps> for an hour and a half, where there was literally no reason for me to be there. Oh. <laughs> it was, I got there, and it was like, okay, do dishes, bag this. What was the other thing I did? <laughs> Can't even remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I cupped marinara. But I yeah. really thought you were going to say marijuana for a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, It was a few days before. Happy, four, happy 420, Steve. Don't worry, I got over that one, too. Oh, okay, cool. So, um, I went there, and they had, like, apparently they were having some sort of inspection also. And I'm not 100% sure why, but I think the key on there hates me. 
does, does he really want your job as like a pizza delivery guy at the worst uh I don't know pizza place he, you work at? He just constantly gave me the look that was like I don't like you. <laughs> oh, he gave me like the stink guy. Yeah. Sort of deal. Yeah, I am not really sure why. I'm like, okay. Alright, cool. <laughs> well, I just kept tapping. I was there for an hour and a half. Honestly, I think he was just really annoyed how the manager that was on duty like got another another person to come in when there was apparently nothing to do at that moment. I remember back when I um, used to work at McDonald's many, many years ago, I, I got the same feeling off of a guy who just always had a bad attitude around me, but then I heard him talking to other people, and he didn't really seem like he had a bad attitude around them. Yeah. I was like, did I do something to this guy? <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, so that's not important. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 it's fine. yeah, like, for the most part, I think most of the people I work with, except for maybe one girl, like, they like me pretty much. Okay. And as you guys, like, I don't really talk to the production staff that much. Okay. Because I'm, I'm normally in the fucking back being, like, you know, loner. Fair and, enough. And hanging out with the managers normally back there. But yeah, so that was pretty much the thing. Like, I just worked there for an hour and a half. And it was... I'm, I'm glad to see your career is going places in the pizza world. It did. I could go somewhere else. <laughs> I've had to drive there multiple times, and I did the dumb thing yeah. of um, giving... The manager there, my contact info. Ah, oh, shit. I'm Why'd like, you do that? <laughs> he, 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 it was like, okay, I really want to, like, just be able to call you whenever. I'm like, oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm a kind person. I can't just say no. <laughs> yeah, he has, like, those puppy dog eyes. <laughs> the manager has the puppy dog eyes? I mean, in my delusional world, yes. Okay. Where it was like, please, I need it. <laughs> so I gave it to him. Now I'm like, oh, God, it could be like... And now you're moment. on call from two stores now. I mean, the other one doesn't normally call me. Because normally the days that I could work, like, they get me in. The only time is, like, Saturday one time when a guy had to drive to West Virginia. Whoa. And he didn't really want to get there, like, 2 a.m. All right. Uh, so I did it for him. And he owes me one, which I probably won't cash in on. You drove to West Virginia at 2 a.m. for him? Yeah. Nice. Very nice of you, Steve. Yeah, I drove there. I'm like, so what am I doing? Oh, you're supposed to hang out with the family. Oh, no. Oh, sweet. Like... Where's my family? <laughs> no, 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 you don't understand. You don't understand the deal. <laughs> I know. Mean, the other big story from work is I um got a text Friday, which was 420. Hi-o! In the... Happy Weed Day! Which was, um... Yeah. I, it, it was a picture of a guy... Well, he said first, like, yeah, I can't come in today. My uh, truck caught on fire. Oh, fuck. And then he sent a text of, um... It actually on fire. Nice. On the highway. Oh, on the highway, too. <laughs> yeah. So, so like, how? Oh, I have no... Did, I, didn't ask? No. Nah. Didn't think getting the full story for Rambling Gamers was important, Steve? I, well, yeah, thanks a I, lot, man. I never really talked to him. People did ask him in the group chat, like, are you okay? What happened? <laughs> and he just didn't respond, so I'm assuming he's still out there. No, he's dead. <laughs> that might be jumping to the conclusion. I think he's just... Almost dead. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. But Fair yeah, so I apologize. That was another thing on 420, and my manager or my GM like apologized for he said the joke. Looks like looks like weed is the only thing blazing on 420. Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, damn it, dude. I think I think you get a write up for that, but I loved it. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Ah, uh, uh, he, he's the GM. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. I think, exactly. except for like against policy, yeah, except for like anything at all. Uh, and then the last story I have. Fuck Reggie. Oh, your cat? Yeah. All right. Yeah, so uh, we have... Welcome back to another in the long line of Steven does not like his cat stories. All right, so I won again game cat litter like two weeks ago. Like two weeks ago was the last time I went shopping. Mm -hmm. And they didn't have the cat litter that I normally get him. Right. So I had to give him a different one. Okay. And I changed it earlier this week. All right. Reggie did not like that. Reggie is picky over the cat litter? He was very picky about it to the point where... He held it in for so long that one night when we were sleeping, he peed on me. Nice. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's not nice. That's, that's one of those not nice moments. There's one that was like, what the fuck is fucking wrong with you? I'm so surprised because usually I think anim I think of animals as not caring about literally anything ever. He's very picky about, I, I guess he's picky about his litter and he's, he's very fucking picky about always like having big chunks of food. None of that like... Um, scrap bullshit. Oh, okay. But he'll, like, eat up a fucking nugget. Like, no. Well, he'll eat half of the nugget and immediately come over to cry for another. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. I ate the good half. <laughs> I don't want that anymore. I even, yeah. like, take off the bread from the nugget. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other hand, like, I don't think I could 
fantasize a situation in which Clover does not, like, immediately devour anything. I think, I, I think Reggie will, eat, will try to eat most of what I give him, but after a while he'll just get bored of it. <laughs> Yeah, no, like, I, I was always thinking for a while, like, I, I always watch those commercials, it's like, like, oh, here's food for your pet, and it's like, okay, it's got all the nutritional value they need, I'm like, good, good, and it's like, and it's got a taste that they'll love, and I'm thinking, like, my dog eats shit. Allegedly. <laughs> very, very much not allegedly, I've seen my dog eat shit. Yeah. Why, why are they trying to advertise the taste? Because some people will buy into it. Uh, okay. I mean, it's marketing, you can lie. Yep, very true. Yo, so, like, there are no bombs on this run, apparently. <laughs> so how's your day gone, Steve? <laughs> uh, let's see. What else was I done? Oh, yeah, so, um, you know, in where I normally park from my house, mm -hmm. I park in, like, this bit of a flower bed, I you call it. Like, there's a lot of dirt in it. Yeah. And I had to give it at 7 a.m. to help our buddy Edgar, well... I offered to help because I didn't want him to do it to fill it back in, so that way it get it did look horrible. And I did. Oh hold. yeah, yeah. So they're they're basically just giant holes in the ground where you're used to parking because you've sunken in the uh, yeah the dirt. <laughs> and that, and then we uh put in um dirt and mulch there, so now it looks nice. Ooh, but now half of the stones which are just there are a little too high, so now I had to weigh it down with my car for like a week. <laughs> oh, you're gonna weigh it down anyway. Yeah, I know, but like I wanted to look good. Like sooner. How how big of a how big of a snob are you about your uh, exterior design? I'm fine here. But you lit you literally just said like you wanted to look nice. I didn't want it to you know. I'm trying to think about it. I didn't want the fucking um, landlord. That's their name. Okay. I didn't want them to come over one time rambling and get pissed off about that. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Uh, whoopsies! I did not mean to get that. But <laughs> I don't know, let's see. We'll see other thing. Um. Yeah, Excellent. and because there's a chance I could move soon, so, you know, that's neat. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Someone actually responded to me. Oh, yeah, so a, work, a workplace actually responded to Steve, so he's one up to me now. Yeah, I had to do a fucking two-hour fucking test. Well, yeah, you gotta do, like, an aptitude test and shit like that. It was like, yeah, here, what, what are the shapes? <laughs> well, it's this very stupid one, and... I want to answer a very weird question that they asked me, like, for the introduction part. Please. What software do you use? What soft? Just, like... <laughs> on your computer. So, like, they're not, they, they, they didn't specify, like, operating system or anything. No, they're just, like, just like, what software? Yeah, it's like, what are, what are your EXEs? It's like, uh... Oh, 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 God. Yeah, oh. and then I'm like, oh, man, this is a bad one. <laughs> this is not one where I can win. <laughs> do I talk to them about the anime? I don't have a software for that. You don't have a you don't have a an anime software. No. Software anime. Oh wait, I have one that I have one that um takes out the text from like visual novels. I thought you were gonna say you have one that took out the subtitles for your subs. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, t it takes out the text so then it could get translated so you could slowly learn Japanese via reading visual novels. Okay. Which I didn't get too far in because I wanted to learn a lot more kanji first. And you didn't. Oh, uh, work out in the way. Okay. Yeah, I got kind of hard to um do like three hundred kanji like tests in the middle of a fifteen minute break. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So maybe one day I'll get back to it when a my schedule like my work schedule is actually decent and I actually have time for it because that. So when you leave this pizza job, pretty much. <laughs> when I leave that pizza job, because I'm probably not going back to grad school. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I like, mean, you're not getting your master's? Probably not. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't want to do this. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's way too much Linux, and I'd have to, I would, if I would go for it, continue it later down the line, I would, um, find a university that does fucking online classes. <laughs> I fucking hate going in person. Okay. I hate going so you're in just done after the semester? Yeah. Hey, he's done it, everyone! I... Let's everyone congratulate Steve on... So is, is, would that technically make me a dropout? Yes. Okay. I it's... didn't know if I had to fail. <laughs> no, that's just... you. But there's still time. Out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. So, like, why even... Like, are you still doing, like, college stuff now? I'm doing it now just in case. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did consider, like, you know, I can just drop it all. 
Yeah, you, you just not go back. <laughs> yeah, but I've already worked hard in this semester. Very true, yes. And your mother and I are very proud of you, Stephen. So you, you called me about it, like, yeah, you don't need to go back. We're like, I don't fucking care. You, you do you. I'm just mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently my mom's coming up in the summer, so, you know. Hell yeah, man. I'm excited to see her again. Party. I'm excited to see her again, because apparently she's going to be working. Oh, really? Yeah. I, just, she's working up here? Uh, like we, is she yeah, yeah, is she back back? No, or? no, 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 no. Okay. for like this, for like a few months. Because a she does not like Ohio weather. I mean, I can I can uh, relate. And B, she kind of is part owner in um an adult daycare facility with oh, one cool. of her friends. Yeah, I, I didn't know if you knew that or not. I don't. I don't think I did know that. Yeah, I I've never been there, and I don't think I'll ever be. Okay. Because she also worked. Because she. Also used to work at an assisted living facility as a cook. Okay. So, you know, that's where she met the friend, and then they just agree because she was, like, a good employee. Okay. Because that, I think that's the big common thing between me and my mom. Like, we are fucking procrastinators of shit, but as soon as we get work, like, yeah, we can get it fucking done. <laughs> like, wait until our final exam, like, two days beforehand to actually open up the book. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Because she's openly... She also is going to community college, and she's openly admitted that she's done that. Ah, oh, okay. She's like, okay, I, okay. I know I gave you shit before about staying on time, but, like, I completely fucking understand now. <laughs> like, um, what, what'd she go for? I don't think she's picked yet. Oh, okay. She's just mainly going for the general studies. Like, yeah, these are just stuff you need for, like, any degree. Right. Did she take any, like, computer programming classes? She took, um... Oh, yeah, the fucking introduction to computers. Where it's like... <gasps> Yeah, how do you turn on a computer? <laughs> oh, God. How do, how do you open up Microsoft Word? I don't know. Steven takes care of all the riffraff behind the scenes. I just show up and try to make the funny. <laughs> my, my mom's decently computer savvy. Nice. Oh, damn it. She's decent. She understands, like, yeah, you just fucking Google problems. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let's see. I'm glad she knows. Yeah, that, that class, like, he, he just completely got it done, like, two days. Because, like, there's literally nothing to do for it. <laughs> Good, good, good. Yeah, I think I think she took the same one I took years ago, where it's like, yeah, there's five projects, like five different Microsoft products. Yeah. And just like very, and then just like very simple uh, quizzes to take, which unfortunately like reading the book because there's just some stuff there which you don't ever need to fucking know. So oh, yeah, so good. just where was the first computer made? <laughs> it's like yeah, Caltech. Hmm. Was it? I don't fucking know. I could have sworn it was like some place in Texas. I could be wrong. I'm, prob I'm probably wrong, but yeah. And it's just one of those things where like you never need to know this. Yeah. How many classes have you had that like do like little history lessons for you that like are never relevant again? Uh, not that much. I still remember for programmable programmable controllers. Mm -hmm. Um, the professor there was like, yeah, I, pr I pray and worship him every night before I go to bed. Like, you guys should do it too, probably. What? Like, he just jokingly said, like, yeah, you don't fuck, I, we don't fucking care. I, I was really hoping that he'd, like, get you to join a cult. <laughs> oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> he was a really nice professor. A, he, he was funny. And B, when, um... He gave me Kool-Aid to drink. <laughs> <laughs> he gave me fucking Kool-Aid. That makes me feel weird. So, um, he... When we had to get our books, he didn't have anything listed, which I'm like, okay, that's weird. He might have forgotten. He's like, yeah, no, I didn't pull that there because I literally have an online version of the book. You guys don't have to buy it. Sweet. <laughs> so that was another neat thing. Yeah, I always I always love the teachers that are just like, don't worry about the uh, textbook. I had one that uh, made his own textbook, and he was just like, uh, I'm charging you guys $20 each. That's just for the cost of printing it all. <laughs> I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, I'm down with that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Teach. And then you gotta keep it, right? Uh, yes. Oh. I threw it away. Why? I, it, uh, it was not a class I was interested in. Oh. I took took the class and I was just like, this ain't for me, but thanks for the introductory lessons. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I think that was the only other, the only big one. Back he was like, yeah, I just don't get the textbook. Okay. Because there, there were definitely a fair amount of others where they, like, you should really get it, but I'm constantly skeptical so i wait like for the first session before actually getting it little baggy oh goody goody well there's uh and you know you get the teachers who are just like yeah you're you're a fucking asshole you should have just got it 
Uh, let's see. Oh, I don't have my moon card anymore, so now I need to go back and do more... Look around a bit more. <laughs> Anyways, though. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have this week. So, so the casual conversation you're dropping on me this week is that you're dropping out of college. Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I never really thought too hard about it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it was just kind of It's like... just grad school. Who gives a shit? Eh. Yeah. Answer me. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I'm taking, yeah, yeah. taking so much dumb damage on this run. How many... Yeah, I guess I could also mention, like, I'm, I'm doing a thing which I did before I got my pizza job, uh, applying to at least one place a day. No, okay, it's pretty good. Yeah, I need to do that today. I'm slowly going from Michigan now. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Because you know, I'm I'm moving into Columbus myself. Oh, really? Yeah, see, seeing what the seeing what the job market over there is like. Yeah. This this might very well be the prelude to the end of Rambling Gamers. By the way, I mean, if um, if the company that I talk to gives me it, I'll be like an hour from Columbus. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Or maybe something... Oh, uh, I mean, like, I, don't, I don't even know if I got anything in Columbus yet, so... Yeah, I don't know what I'm like. We'll find out. All right. Well, if you truly think about... This really was the Final Fantasy VII. It's four and a half hour drive from here to the place I go to. So, if I go... If I wake up early Saturday and then come over, we can record and I have to go back home. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we can keep it alive. Hell yeah, dude. I like, I like that part where I didn't have to drive anywhere. Well, then you have to supply the place. <sighs> I'll do it. What? <laughs> supply the place? Yeah. How can you? If I, if I mean, if I gotta move to Columbus, I'm gonna be finding a place there. Yeah, fair enough. But anyways, we don't need to talk about that right now. Uh -huh. Steve, how are you enjoying the run so far? I was very shocked you were able to turn it around after, you know, you nearly died early on. I never nearly died. It was just, I, I was making it seem like I did. All right? Fucking fooled everyone. Even you. No, I didn't fool myself at all. I'm just like, did it again. <laughs> By God, Patrick, you have done it. <laughs> You're a blue baby with a single soul heart left. Yeah, easy. <laughs> That's like five times better than the average Eden start. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah, um, you're probably going to get ranked horribly. Wait, what? You, you took a lot of <laughs> damage. Oh my God, they got, they, got the, they got the one guys and the other guys who can fly. You think they're looking at him in jealousy? <laughs> The dude's on the ground like, I want to fly. I want to move in um, 360 fly. degrees. Fly. Fuck! How did that get... Okay. Uh, but, but yes, to answer you, to reply to that, yeah, I probably am going to rank horribly. Because yeah. I am just... I'm falling into the temptation of sacrificial dagger. It's like, just get close to them. Look how much damage it does. But at the same time, you take a lot more damage. I'll say this. I don't really care about the uh, damage only. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, I'll be honest. I don't even care about the ranking. I just, I just care about making the damn video. Oh, should we talk about the announcement trailer? <laughs> yes, that one. I'm so pumped for it. What? That's related to the game you're playing? Oh, Bumbo? <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a as of recording this, my favorite trailer of all time ever has come out, which is why I was so hyped about it, and I'm really upset that Steven forgot in that conversation we just had. Uh, Le Legend what? of... <laughs> what? <laughs> Legend of Bumbo is coming out uh, with its own... Ah, they're giving Bumbo his own game, and the trailer just dropped. And the trailer was a parody of the Binding of Isaac intro, and it was freaking hilarious. I watched it like ten times. <laughs> yeah, so if we're, if we're allegedly still together after the college dropout and the, and the grad... Um, yeah, grad if, if we somehow manage to make it past the, this uh, rough point in our uh, career... <laughs> I'll probably be, like, a mainstay series for a bit. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely be giving it a try on the channel, absolutely, and we'll see how long, uh, we'll see how long it goes on for. Probably, like, ten minutes. Yeah, Bumbo live in a box outside house. <laughs> Bumbo have trash, Bumbo have coin, life good. <laughs> so, it's, it's a very funny trailer I recommend you guys go watch. Especially, damn it, especially if you're fans of, fans of Vining of Isaac. <laughs> yeah. Please die, bloat. So, like... Does he just live back there and, like, no one cares? <laughs> I mean, like, if all he's doing is sitting down and enjoying his freaking, uh, coin and trash he's got, I don't really see that In big of an someone's issue. backyard. Yeah. Behind house. <laughs> yeah. I mean, what if it's his house? And he's, <laughs> he's bought it and he's just choosing to remain homeless. What if it's his, uh, parents' house? Oh, my God. And, uh, the, and, uh, that face that showed up was, uh, actually just his parents asking for rent. <laughs> There's no you coin. Go away from it. Yeah. It's like Bumbo, please. We're trying, we just want to give you a good life, Bumbo. Oh yeah, I got I got immediately disappointed. 
this week. Okay. On I'm Ste- sorry. Yeah, on Steam there's um a game that was that apparently recently came out. It was a very anime looking game, like, oh fuck, this could be a visual novel. And I noticed it had over seven thousand positive reviews. Okay. And I was like, Oh, this is gonna be hentai. Oh yeah, it's hentai. <laughs> 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 it was like, oh yeah, you can't get that high without it being hentai. You can't get that high without hentai. <laughs> you know the old rambling gamers motto. <laughs> God, yeah, it's it's a weird it's weird but jeweled where you a uh, tiny pop. Kind of, but you're fine them, and if you do good, you tear off their clothes. Okay, Wait. so it's honey pop. Honey Pop, you don't really take off their clothes until the bed scene, which I have beaten, and I gotta say, it's amusing for a while, but when you're the one having to do all the sex scenes, because your friends think it's funny, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Not, it's not okie-dokie. <laughs> yeah, Steve, I believe it's Michael and Jason, Yeah, uh, all played through. Um... There were a lot of good characters, but my main problem with them, all of them were just sluts. Oh, Steven, don't, don't slut you. I'm saying, like, I'm fine with one or two slots, but, like, the entire <laughs> cast is a little much for me. Oh, come on, Steven. You're gatekeeping here. Yeah? <laughs> well, I want diversity. It's like, yeah, here's Gamer Girl. Here's, uh, MILF. Here's <laughs> Alien. Here's Cat. Here's Cat. Ugh. Cat Lady. Red, yeah, Reggie Waifu. Yeah. And then there, there was just an alien at one point. <laughs> There's an alien in it? <laughs> yeah. Why? You just kind of start dating... You just kind of find it randomly on the beach, and you just are like, yeah, I want to learn more about humans. A beached alien. Yeah. <laughs> well, no problem. I got just the dick to teach you. <laughs> yeah, hold on. Let, let me see all the fucking honey pop here. Oh, absolutely. Please. Let's make this uh, uh, episode where we I don't like how I typed in honey pop, and I saw honey pop too. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sequel in the works? Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, there's a slutty elf that tried... The main plot of it is... You're, like, just a complete virgin, so uh, your uh, elf has to come and help you lose your virginity. Isn't that all, like, dating sims? No. I thought you are all just, like, a weird virgin at the beginning. To, to better keep people in the... So people can get immersed better. <laughs> <laughs> like an anime sh- fan of, on prom, okay. right? Alright, most of the visual novels I do, yeah, they're virgins. But a lot of them, they don't have sex. Oh, goody goody. I mean, I'm just inferring that he's a virgin because... They're fucking losers. Yeah. All right, let's see. There's Gamer Girl, MILF, two foreigners, one from Mexico, one from India. Um. Okay. Is that the lo- Yeah, that's Lolly. Oh, God. Lolly with cute little hat. There's always a Lolly. Lolly Sundari, I believe, was what she was. I don't fucking know. I'm just trying to remember. Oh, yeah. Can I talk to you about how fucked up anime that, that I've heard of her? Oh, for God's sake, Steven, please. I've heard of this one anime, and by that, I mean, I've seen screenshots of it, where, you know, you know the thrill of horse racing? The thrill of horse racing, I can't say I do. All right, well, you know there is thrill there, right? I I assume to some strange people that they would uh, find some sort of entertainment. Yeah, so I think, like, some Japanese who took, like, a lot of heroin or some shit. Yeah. Because then they just um, made a show about that. They made a horse racing anime. Yeah. Doesn't but, sound as dumb as your camping anime you told me about once. Yeah, but um, the, the caveat of it is it, that they're all horse ladies. Oh. <laughs> like, it's BoJack Horseman. Sure. They're all just cute anime lady, anime horses, horse <laughs> ladies. And it just, I, I've seen screenshots and I'm like, that looks really fucking weird. Even, so... if, even if two of them look cute. <laughs> so when's the uh, sex dungeon coming out about it, Steve? Oh god, I don't think I could. I, I don't think I should do one on like slice of life stuff. What the? Whoa! Or, or whoa, I should whoa, whoa, probably slippery. for your case say like sitcom-y ones. I don't care. I mean, there's not much to say about them. Okay. Oh, we finished Boss Rush. Hallelujah. It's kind of like the camping one. Like I can't really say anything about. I was like, yeah, they went camping this week. Yeah, that was a great fucking episode of Sticks. I gotta say. Yeah, you're welcome. They learned about different tarps. Ugh. Okay, it's my lantern set, and then I forgot about. <laughs> <laughs> all right so any weird anime you've heard about recently uh any weird anime that i have heard about i heard about one called made in the abyss okay. have you ever heard of this one steve yeah i did uh, think about it <laughs> i should also talk about something then that is the only anime i have heard of recently yeah well i've i've learned some dark things about it oh i thought the whole thing the whole thing was dark i listened to your yeah fucking okay movie. i should say like 
more... Mm, what's the right word? Okay. The manga, uh, sh you should not read for one distinct reason. Okay. The character... The, <laughs> I don't read manga. Uh, sexualize the characters. Okay. Which are 12-year-olds. Oh. <laughs> Fucking great. <laughs> yeah, I heard about it, like, oh. I didn't consider reading it, but now... <laughs> you you completely lost me. Yeah, sign me up. Yeah. Keep the change. As a lot of people probably would be surprised at from a guy who really likes anime, I don't like seeing the sexy scenes. <laughs> I know this might surprise you even though I like anime, but I'm not a perverted pedophile. I know, I know, shocker. I know, I mean, I even consider myself a lolicon. <laughs> <laughs> I know, weird. Okay, where the hell... Put an inspired man meme of me playing on myself. Okay, okay, go, go, go. Done. I'm, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make the hush fight on this one. Uh, yeah, no, probably not at this point. Who really cares about hush? Points, people, Steven. Look at that guy's goggles I gave him. <laughs> people uh, who want to see me rank well. People who come People who come to Ramblin' Gamers to see the, see the high-tier A-plus gameplay we have going on here. Then why do they watch Hollow Knight? If they do. I was gonna say, not a single episode of Hollow Knight has gone up yet. You cannot, you cannot guarantee anything. <laughs> Tom, homework. Stop watching the Hollow Knight series. Tom, super homework. Watch it two more times. I mean, you heard Especially him, the times where I don't do anything. We already, we already talked about the whole series, Steve. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, so many times I guess sorry to pit people without you. Yeah, I know. You asked me if you if you asked me if I cared, and I told you to stop talking to me about the game. Yeah, why did he say that? <laughs> Dude, that curse of the maze. Oh, I know that was a telepill. Never mind. I thought I thought curse of the maze just sent me on the other side of the damn map. I know. Anyway, me and Tom are enjoying it so far. They have dailies apparently. Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, and we just kind of accidentally won it. <laughs> it's like three battles in a row where you don't heal in between, and me and Tom are like, we're still gonna lose. And somehow we just won. Nice. Uh, so, you know, we got, I got 22nd place, Tom got 30th, so I thought we were on the same team. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Tom. Love you, honey. Fucking, where do I go here, dude? <laughs> Probably to the left. Yeah, Pit People, I think, is a good introductory yep. uh, strategy game. It's not complex. Yeah. <laughs> Still did not hold my interest. Yeah. Like, basically every strategy I'll, I'll, I'll say, like, the first few fights, I definitely didn't do too well because I didn't understand how fucking many times enemies can take hits, including weaker enemies. What do you mean? Like, I figured, like, okay, archers could die in, like, two, three hits. Because they're... Oh, and they just live forever. They, they It takes, like, five hits. Okay. Other thing takes, like, an absurd amount of damage. <laughs> to the point where it gets a little tedious. Have sometimes. you ever considered doing more damage, Steven? I've tried. I, I don't know how to get better equipment, because most of the equipment, it doesn't seem to up stats, it just cosmetics. No, oh. Nah. I'm like, why? I just want, I want to feel good about the stuff I get, not just, yeah, here's a, here's carrots that you can throw. Sweet. <laughs> what, what other stupid stuff is there? Oh yeah, I got Cupcake, which can heal by defrosting himself and slowly killing himself. Oh yeah, I remember him. <laughs> me, me and Tom really enjoyed that character. He's okay. He was getting his own storyline in our game. Oh where, fuck. Where we had to find his best friend. Who is the birthday cake? <laughs> and the guy is just in the middle of battle trying to eat it completely. Ah, uh, fuck. Keep... Let's see. We tried to save the ocean from getting polluted. I did my part, but Tom did not. <laughs> <laughs> how, what, wait, how, how's Tom polluting the ocean? There were conveyor belts where we had to. The tip, we're recording this on Earth Day, by the way, so I feel particularly offended right now. Well, there were like two conveyor belts filled with trash that were slowly going to the beach or the ocean, and we had to stop them. And Tom and me and Tom like normally get separated in two groups, so that way like we can each do our own thing and help the other one needed. Mm -hmm. And he didn't do his part. Piece of shit. No, he polluted the ocean. <laughs> I mean, he kind of did. He just kind of didn't stop the ocean from becoming polluted. Yeah, but we had a marine biologist like tell us like, please help the ocean, man. To take me by the hand, lead me to the land. Yeah, why didn't you take the golden bombs? You only have golden bombs. Yeah, why didn't I get double infinity golden bombs? Why didn't you get the coin? Bumbo won't. Yeah, coin. well, Bumbo can have coin. It's that. It's right down. It's right inside my mother's womb. Bumbo, go for it. You want to phrase that? No, I, I phrased that perfectly. Okay. Where are we right now, Stephen? The uterus. Yeah. 
crawled deep inside my mom's badge after I killed her, and now I'm going to cry on her heart until it explodes. You know, I think if we had this talk about how old Isaac is. Yeah, he might be three because if he, he's able to crawl on. If it was like a a one and be able to, <laughs> fact, he could be like one. That's true. I mean, look at all my one makes you smaller pills. I look like I'm still a sperm cell right now. Uh, uh, what? Uh, what did you just make? What you took like twenty? Um, one makes me smaller yeah, pills. No, one makes you larger, and you had to fit in. Uh, well, your uh, your hitbox doesn't get bigger when you get bigger. I know. So. I know, but I'm always like thinking of the context of the story where you had to crawl inside your mother's oh, womb. Oh yeah. Like, how it's... big do you have to be before you can't actually get inside and explore your mother's womb? D depends on how sexually promiscuous she is, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to talk about that. Yeah, I was gonna say this is, this is getting to a dumb place, which I love. So. <laughs> okay, fine. You want to continue with that? Not at all. No. <laughs> what the hell so, were we talking about before? How did uh, we get here? <laughs> the people. Oh yeah, right. So I, pick I, people is an interesting game. Is the is how that story ends. Yeah, hey, I like it. I don't think it's the best, but you know what? Maybe you'll change my opinion later. So that, what are you going to do for Earth Day? Uh, for Earth Day, I am going to read the over the head script and also um, <laughs> just come here and record rambling gamers videos with you. I want to go pollute the ocean. <laughs> All right. So um, yeah, my booger tear kind of fell on this guy, so now he's just forever invincible. So. Guess I'm just bombing and re-entering in here. And please. Just, oh, fuck. fuck this shit, dude. I think I get farther away. No, no, no. It's fine. There you see. Eight trillion times before. Why are you taking the pill? Because I know what the pill is. Oh. Uh, gulp, sweet. Gulp up my nothing trinket I got. Die, 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 die. Yeah. How many people actually celebrate Earth Day? Because it has to be a substantial amount for it to be on most calendars. Pokemon Go dead. Oh. <laughs> yeah, they said, like, Happy Earth Day. If you, uh, if you guys can come together and, like, help clean up the world, we'll give you bonuses in Pokemon Go. How do you clean up the world? Uh, I'm assuming just create, make an event and go and pick up trash. How will they know? You ever heard of this thing called a video, Stephen? No. <laughs> I mean, you can show, like, a two-minute video of you cleaning something up, and then they're like, um... You actually, like, took, like, two, um, soda cans, and that's it? I'm I'm assuming they need more than that, Stephen. Uh... Call me crazy, but I think they're smart enough people to know. But they're probably getting thousands of submissions. So? They don't have to, they don't have to refund all of them? Uh... I, I think... I don't exactly know what the argument is we're yelling about at this point. We're not really yelling. We're more like... Shut up, Steven. Stop Stop disagreeing with me. But I agree with you. I, I know. What the fuck? This is stupid. Let's talk about something else. I don't really have anything to talk about. Yeah, me either. Cool. Let's talk about that. Alright. Uh, it's apparently announced Honey Pop 2. Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Well, how, how much are you going to play the fuck out of Honey Pop 2, Steve? I mean, if you really fucking want to play on the channel. I'm in no way, shape, or form endorsing playing Honey Pop 2 on this channel. But it comes out this year. <laughs> oh, wow. What what an argument to make, Steven. How could I have been so blind before? <laughs> I will say, I think it has. it's a good game. It's just I don't like the story. And that's the main point of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good game, except for the everything about it. Other than that, though, it's good. I I, I love the Bejeweled part. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> you like Bejeweled? Would that be your go-to casual game of choice? No. It, it could be Sudoku. <laughs> no, okay. What if they made, like, a Sudoku version of it? <laughs> I mean, how? The, the, uh, what, how do they do the Bejeweled version of it? In the game? Yeah. Um, it wouldn't mean, be that hard to adapt it to Sudoku. So you know how there's different, like, shapes and color? Like, different, yeah, I know how Bejeweled works. Different gems. I know well, how Bejeweled yeah, works. Make sure. Um, every, every one is, like, a different attribute. So, like, I think, like... Um, blue is like athletic or some bullshit. Okay. Orange is like charisma, and each chick has different things they really like to see in a guy. Okay. So you gotta try and focus on them. You have different things you can level up to get bonuses. You have equipment stuff you can get to boost stuff and decrease stuff. It's it's actually a not too complicated, but like a fair amount more than this is you... way too overly complicated. Literally, all they needed to do was show boobs, and it would have been just sold just as well. I mean, you could literally just look at YouTube for it. So, ah, uh, <laughs> I got. No I wonder. I wonder how a Honey Pop sales are doing relative to the amount of YouTube views it gets. 
<laughs> I want to look at some Honey Pop fucking reviews. They go on d probably the classic, like, it's an easy game, I beat it with one hand. Ha 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 ha. That could be good stuff. I want to see how many people fucking actually... What was I looking up? Honey Pop. <laughs> no, not Hugh. Can you, can you tell me, uh, can you go on like Steam stats or whatever and tell me how many concurrent players they currently got on them? How do I go there? You go to Steam. Okay, it has overwhelming reviews, at, like 12,000 people. Really? Yeah, so, I thought this would have been like a couple hundred sort of deal. <laughs> oh no, this fucking like took off. Alright, well then. I'm disappointed in all of you. Now let's go to fucking funny. Mm. Shop restock. Yeah, don't think I uh, don't think I'll be needing that one. Rare card. Oh, I might as well. Yep. What? The recommended. He, he listed like pros, pros, other reasons to get the game, and then he lists like five cons. <laughs> <laughs> recommended. Uh uh uh. Mm, fine. Let's make it weird. Let's take Isaac's heart. I know. I I heard you, Stephen, begging me, screaming, and pleading with me not to, but I'm going to. Yeah. Met a Latina layer lady, gave her some barrel, get laid. Met an Asian girl, gave her some rice balls, got laid. Met an alien girl, gave her a UFO, got laid. All right. <laughs> yeah, you can also get people gifts to make them like you more. <laughs> this game is like real life because women are unsolvable puzzles and they love to laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, fucking. When a man loves a woman, they play Bjold. <laughs> All right, so yes, I took Isaac's heart, and it's go—it's about to make this uh, run a lot more uh, uncertain, I would say. I'd say beforehand it was basically guaranteed we'd win, so let's see if I could win it with Isaac's heart. Yes, I always Steven. felt like there was something missing in Bejeweled. Honey Pop told me I was a naked woman. I don't disagree. <laughs> <laughs> I play for the kid matching, I swear. <laughs> whole bunch of uh, a whole bunch of regular uh, Picassos in uh, in these review sections painting their beautiful reviews with praise you know my mom used to be proud of her son <laughs> <laughs> oh don't we have entered the golden age of bear anime press being acceptable content steam truly we live in a great time my friends <laughs> uh Case. A woman made fun of me for being a virgin, and while it hurt me a lot emotionally, I cannot deny the sheer realism this game provides. <laughs> okay, god damn it, come on. Okay, good, 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 good. Now, into into the dark room. Yes, this is looking scary. Why do you ask, Steven? Oh yeah, I forgot. At one, at one point, they had a 69% off sale for it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So they know what they're doing. Yeah. I'm glad. My mom walked in when I was sexing the alien chick. She disowned me. <laughs> fuck, 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 fuck. Are you kidding me? God, fuck this, dude. Great, great, great game for the whole family to enjoy. Update. If you play with family. Not, I repeat, not a great game to play with the whole family. <laughs> okay, okay. I was only just saying how his right arm strength just kept increasing. <laughs> Die, Bighorn. Got the I tried to call the cops on the ferry, but she still won't leave. <laughs> Fun puzzle game for kids. Not recommended. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Run, 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 run. This is fine. Sorry, Steve. I'm in, I'm in the middle of a very tense run. Are you really? Uh, yes, because I picked up Isaac's heart. <laughs> No, Mom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hit me three times in the same fucking room. Go fuck yourself. No, Mom. They aren't fake. They mean something to me. Oh, my God. Fuck off. What? <laughs> they mean something to me. The game is hard, but never got as hard as I did. Okay, okay. Run, 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 run. Jump away. Okay, good. They did drop a spirit heart. What am I doing? Sorry, I'm basically shout casting my anxiety going on right now in this episode. Yeah, so what's interesting, Miles, I'm done with Honey Pop now until Honey Pop 2. So, to answer your question, nothing was interesting about this run. So I made something interesting about this run, and now I'm regretting it. <laughs> because Isaac's Heart is the dumbest item that has ever been put into this game. I mean, not really, but it's... It's a worthless item that you should never take under any circumstance. So I took it. <laughs> so, you might actually lose because of that. I'm probably going to lose. I can get hit... I, I, yeah, next hit will kill me. 
And we don't know where... Th- okay, there it is. Yeah, just a, just a beautiful combination of shitty, da- shitty DPS, Isaac's Heart, and Sack Dagger. To just be like... Does the Polaroid... Oh, wait, did you even take the Polaroid? No, nah, okay, well, I'm dead. No, it wouldn't give me the option. I had to take the negative. Okay. This one's retarded. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, you made that. What? No, like, even beforehand. The oh. reason I took Isaac's Heart was because I was bored out of my mind with this run, so... Oh, yeah. I wanted to spruce it up a bit. The DPS... My bad. <laughs> the DPS went absolutely nowhere. Uh, everything was slow, and the only saving grace was Sack Dagger, which caused you to take just stupid amounts of damage the whole time. So, yeah, I did bad because I didn't beat the run. I didn't hit the hush fight. I really don't care. The run did not hold my interest enough to make it that way. Hopefully, the commentary was at least somewhat interesting, yeah. though. Hi, right, everyone. If you really enjoyed this, and especially want me to for Fat to watch me play Honey Pop 2, please tell us. Mm, yes. If enough of you come on and tell us we need to play Honey Pop 2, I will let Steven play that by himself. <laughs> See you next time, everyone.